So today's video is about finding the surface area of a rectangular prism. So we'll start with what is a rectangular prism. Well a rectangular prism is a 3D shape with six sides that are all rectangles or squares and it's basically a box. And with all rectangular prisms, you know, every box that has a top and a bottom that are the same size, a front and a back that are the same size, and two sides that are the same size. So if you took a rectangular prism and you unfolded it, what would it look like? And so this would be an example of a net for a rectangular prism. And so if you'll notice, this would represent the back, the purple, and the front. And if you'll notice, those rectangles are the same size. And then the green is actually representing the top and the bottom of the rectangular prism. And then the two red are representing the sides. And one thing you want to keep in mind is that with a rectangular prism, the front and the back are the same size, the top and the bottom are the same size, and the two sides are the same size. So what is surface area? Well, surface area is the area of the surface of a 3D shape and or the area of the outside of a shape. And how do you find surface area? Well, the first step is to find the area of each side of the 3D shape. And then the second step is once you have found the area of each side of the 3D shape, you add all of those areas together to get the total area, which is the surface area. So let's do this example to find the surface area of this rectangular prism. So if you'll notice, we have this rectangular prism here. And the length of the rectangular prism is 6 centimeters. The width is 4 centimeters and then the height of the rectangular prism is 2 centimeters. So if we took this rectangular prism and we unfolded it, this would be an example of the net. And if you'll notice, the side of the rectangular prism has a width of 4 and a height of 2. And we can see that here. The rectangle has a width of 4 and a height of 2. Then the front of the rectangular prism has a width of 6 and a height of 2. So if you'll see here, the blue shapes are representing the top, I mean the front and the back. And as you can see, they have a width of 6 and a height of 2. And then the top of the rectangular prism has a width of 4 and a length of 6. So now that we've know, we know the length and the width of each part of the rectangular prism, we can use that information to find the surface area. So we'll start by finding the area of the top of the rectangular prism. So if we look here on this um, diagram on this net, the top of the rectangular prism has a length of 6 and a width of 4. So the area of the top of the rectangular prism is 24 centimeters squared. And then we know that with any rectangular prism, the top and the bottom are the same size. So the area of the top and the bottom will both have an area of 24 centimeters squared. So now we want to find the area of one of the sides. So we know that one of the sides has a length of 4 and a height of 2. So that means the area of one of the sides of the rectangular prism is 8 centimeters squared. And again, that means both of the sides of the rectangular prism have an area of 8 centimeters squared. Then the last thing we want to do is find the area of the front of the rectangular prism. So we know that the area of the front, we'll have to multiply the length, which is 6, times the height, which is 2, which means that the area of the front of the rectangular prism will have an area of 12 centimeters squared. And we know that the front and the back are the same size, so that means they'll both have an area of 12 centimeters squared. So to find the surface area, what we're going to have to do is because we know that the area of the top is the same as the area of the bottom, then that means we're going to take the area of the top, which is 24, and we're going to multiply that by 2, which means the area of the top and the bottom will be 48. Then we know that the side has an area of 8, and because there are two sides, we're going to take the area of one side and multiply that by 2, which means the area of the sides have an area of 16. And then we know the area of the front is 12, and we know that the front and the back are the same. So we're going to take 12 and multiply that by 2, which means the front and the back have an area of 24. And then to get the, to get the total surface area of the rectangular prism, we're going to add those together, which means the surface area of this entire rectangular prism is 88 centimeters squared. 
So the main important thing you want to remember with rectangular prisms, you definitely want to remember that the top and the bottom are the same size, the front and the back are the same size, and the two sides are the same size. And so once you find the area of one of them, you can find the area of the other one by multiplying it by two. And then always keep in mind that surface area is the area of the entire shape. It's all of the faces. And then and a, and a rectangular prism has six faces. So you make you got to make sure that you find the area of all six of those sides in order to get the surface area.